Yahweh, I know you are near. Standing always at my side, you got me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Yahweh, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You got me from the fall. On you lead me in with everlasting. Let us open our Bible to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33. Deuteronomy 33. Moses' final blessing. Moses' final blessings. Deuteronomy 33, verses 1 to 5. The glorious majesty of God. Verse 1. The blessing of Moses given here just before his death is very important and common for, for that day. It was typical for a father to impart a blessing just before his death. Moses, leader of the Exodus and mediator of the covenant, served in a fatherly capacity for the nation. Verse 2. Moses begins this blessing with praise for the greatness of Yahweh including a description of the Lord's appearance at Sinai when he gave the Ten Commandments in Exodus 19, verse 20, in Exodus 19, chapter 19 to chapter 20. This verse is written in poetic language that describes the light of God shining on Sinai in, in, in the south and then on Seir in the northeast and then of Paran in the north. The idea is that God's law engulfs, it engulfed the land. Verse 5, the proclamation of Yahweh's kingship of uh, Joshurum, Joshurum, a name of, uh, for Israel, which means, uh, which, which, which means uh, the righteous. Uh, uh, and we see it in uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 15, and uh, here uh, and, and here on uh, verse 25, 26. Joshurum is a reference back to the nation's deliverance from Egypt and the giving of the law when the leaders and the tribes assembled to receive God's commands. When Yahweh brought the law to the people, they gathered under his rule and he became their official king. The giving of the law was then the event that ratified this kingship over the nation of Israel. To all his precepts, warnings, and prophecies, Moses added a solemn blessing. 
He begins with a, dis, a description of the glorious appearances of God in giving the law. He, his law works like fire. If received, it is melting, warning, purifying, and burns up the dross of corruption. If rejected, it hardens, sears, bends, and destroys. The Holy Spirit came down in gloven tones as of fire. For the gospel also is a fiery way, a, a fiery law. The gospel is a fiery law, a law of fire. The law of God written in the heart is a certain proof of the love of God shed abroad there. We must reckon he the, we, we must reckon his law one of the gifts of the grace. Deuteronomy thirty three verses six to twenty two The blessings of the twelve tribes verses eight to eleven the tribe of Levi was set apart to care for the tabernacle and to provide priests to, to serve there. The Tumim and Urim are used by priests to cast lots, a method of receiving direction from God. Some compared uh, their use, the use of Uri, uh, Tumim and Urim, they compare him to throwing dice in order to leave the outcome out of human hands. Thus the tribe of Levi was entrusted with the great work of mediating between God and humanity. At first, the faithfulness of Levi is praised because they are faithful at Massa, also called Meribah in Exodus 17 verses 1 to 7. Then the tribe is praised collectively for their faithfulness to execute Yahweh's judgment in the mand, the matter of the golden calf in Exodus 32 verses 25 to 29. Moses' blessing here is a prayer for supernatural ability so that the Levites will use their skills in God's work. The order, the order in which the tribes are here blessed is not the same as observed elsewhere. The blessing of Judah may refer to the whole tribe in general, or to David as a type of Christ. Moses largely blesses the tribe of Levi. Acceptance with God is what we should all aim at and desire in all our devotions as it is said in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 9. Prophecy that God will keep up a ministry in his church to the end of time. The tribe of Benjamin had their inheritance close to man Zion. To be situated near the ordinances is a precious gift from the Lord, a privilege not to be exchanged for any worldly advantage or indulgence. We should thankfully receive the earthly blessings sent to us through the successive seasons. 
but good gifts which come down from the Father of lights through the rising of the Son of Righteousness and the pouring out of His Spirit like the rain which makes fruitful are infinitely more precious as the tokens of His special love. The precious things here prayed for are figures of spiritual blessing in heavenly things by Christ. The gifts, the graces, the comforts of the Holy Spirit. When Moses prays for the good will of him that dwelt in the bush, he refers to the covenant on which all our hopes of God's favor must be founded. The providence of God, the providence of God appoints men, men's habitations, and wisely disposes men to different employments for the public good. Whatever our place and business are, it is our wisdom and duty to apply to to apply to it and it is happiness to be well pleased with it we should not only invite others to the service of god but abound in it the blessing of naphtali the favor of god is the only favor satisfying to the soul those are happy indeed who have the favor of God, and those shall have it who reckon that in having it they have enough and desire, desire no more. Deuteronomy 33 verses 24 to 25. Strength to believers. All shall be sanctified to true believers if their way be rough their feet shall be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace as they as thy days so shall thy strength be the day day day, day between court the day is oft, often in scripture put for the events of the day. It is a promise that God would graciously and constantly support under trials and troubles, whatever they were. It is a promise sure to all the spiritual seed of Abraham. Have they work allotted? They shall have strength to do it. Have they burdens appointed? They shall have strength and never be tempted above what they are able to bear. Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 29. The excellence of Israel. Joshurum, which means the upright one, is a name for Israel. Verse 26 honors the God of Israel as incomparable in power. He rides, he rides on the heavens and the sky because God is eternal and a refuge for his people. His everlasting arms will protect Israel in times of trouble. Yahweh will destroy their enemies. Having such a wonderful and powerful God, ones in the land will live in both safety and prosperity. None has such a God as Israel. There is no people like, like the Israel of God the Christians. 
what is here said of the church of Israel is to be applied to the spiritual church. Never were people so well seated and sheltered. Those who may guard their habitation shall have all the comforts and benefits of a habitation in him, as it is said in Psalm 91 verse 1. Never were people so well supported and borne up. How low soever the people of God are at any time brought, everlasting arms are underneath them to keep the spirit from sinking, from fainting, and their faith from failing. Divine grace is divine grace in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Divine grace is commanded. Thus believers are more than conquerors over their spiritual enemies through Christ that loved them. Never were people so well secured and protected. Israel shall dwell in safety alone. All who keep close to God shall be kept safe by him. Never were people so well provided for. Every true Israelite looks with faith to the better country, the heavenly Canaan, which is filled with better things than corn and wine. Never were people so well help if in danger of any harm or in want of any good they had an eternal god to go to nothing could 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 hurt those whom god helped nor was it possible the people should perish who were saved by away Never were people so well armed. Those in whose hearts is the excellence of holiness are defended by the whole armor of God. As it is said in Ephesians 6, never were people so well assured of victory over their enemies. Thus shall the God of peace Threat Satan on the defeat of all believers and shall do it shortly, as it is said in Romans 16, verse 20. May God help us to seek and to set our affections on the things above and to turn our souls from earthly perishing objects that we may not have our lot with Israel's foes in the regions of darkness and despair, but with Israel of God in the realms, in the realms of love and eternal happiness. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us take these prayer points. Let us pray for blessing of our church. Heavenly Father Yahweh, we come to you through Yahshua, your son, our savior, our high priest and intercessor who knows us and totally understands us. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, we come in adoration of everything you are, of everything you have done. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Before the principalities and powers, we acknowledge your goodness, your holiness, your perfection. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. We acknowledge that you are eternal. 
incomprehensible, supreme, sovereign, transcendent, the one and only God, majestic, all-knowing, all-powerful, unchanging, present everywhere, creator of time and space, but not constrained by either. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, thank you for the right and privilege that you have given us to talk with you. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. We acknowledge, Father Yahweh, that it's only by grace that we can stand before you. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, we acknowledge that we are your children. We want to honor you on this earth. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. We want to bring you glory through our lives, through our lives, our attitudes and behaviors and our strength. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, we know that we can only do that with your help. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. We recognize the offense of sin. We recognize how sin has marred your image in us. How it has tarnished your perfect creation and how it impedes your will in our lives. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, we confess our sins before you. With the help of your Holy Spirit, we deliberately and conscientiously Turn away from wrong behaviors and attitudes. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, by your Spirit, uncover those things in our lives that offend you, that bring you dishonor. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, Cause us to be convicted of our sins. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Stop us from living lives that simply gratify our own desires, but help us to deliberately and naturally and maturely and maturely walk that path of love and sacrifice. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Path of love and sacrifice is where you are the center, where you are our motivation, and where you light our steps. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, we are so thankful that as your adopted children, you have taken us from unrighteousness to bring righteous before you, to, be, to, to being righteous before you. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. You made us thoroughly accepted by grace through faith, not by our own efforts, but by the blood of Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, by your Spirit, Make us humble and considerate. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Develop within us a gentle attitude towards others and help us to recognize others' needs. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, give us a serving heart. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord Yahweh, give us the thirst for righteousness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. 
In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Give us to be merciful and compassionate. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Create in us a pure, a, a pure, a pure heart, a pure heart inwardly cleansed and keeping short accounts with you. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Help us to be peacemakers, openly reconciling in the church and in the community, pursuing peace. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, continue to help us to be salt and light in this world that has become rotten and dark. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lead us, your church, to be a blessing to our communities and to the nations. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Prevent us, Lord Yahweh, from passively watching while society dies. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray.